This is Planet Pulse for Wednesday, March 2nd. The moon is in Aquarius today. I'm Jeff Jower. And I'm Rick Levine. The moon in Aquarius is always a bit of a paradox just by itself. It's oxymoronic because the moon is about being close and connected and feeling a part of the matrix. And Aquarius is about getting distance from and separating ourselves from the matrix. So just without even going any further, every month when the moon comes back around to Aquarius, there is a bit of a uh, kind of dilemma we have of whether we should move in closer or pull back. Right. Well, the advantage of pulling back is we we can be more objective with the moon in Aquarius. We're able to separate ourselves from the most subjective side of emotion, which isn't great for closeness or intimacy, but certainly can bring us some awareness. And we're going to be mentally sharp today because we've got Mercury forming a quincunx with Saturn, or let's put it this way, we better be mentally sharp or we'll run off the rails. Yeah, it's interesting because a quincunx is an aspect of adjustment. It's often irritating or annoying because the quincunx implies that the two planets involved are they're they're in communication with each other but they're reading different books not just on different pages Mm -hmm. and so today we have mercury and saturn in that quincunx and the reason why you say if we don't pay attention we'll go off the tracks is that we constantly have to make that adjustment to bring our thoughts mercury back in line so that it doesn't um, run into trouble with saturn the taskmaster or the judge the two of them together are are working not quite at odds with each other but, but they're at each other, and so there's this constant adjustment, niggling, fixing, getting it right so that we can stay on track. Yeah, there's another shift today, though. We're not likely to feel it. The moon's nodes, which always move backwards, are changing signs. The north node of the moon is shifting out of Capricorn and moving into Sagittarius, where for the next 18 months it's going to be pointing the hour of integration towards the sign Sagittarius big ideas and absolute truth will perhaps have a greater value than usual. I'm Jeff Jower. And I'm Rick Levine reminding you that you can check the pulse of the planets here every day on Planet Pulse.